Now more than ever. Now more than ever. Now more than ever. So now more than ever. Now more than ever. So since we're since we're all probably done hearing that phrase now <clears throat> now more than ever it's time to retire the phrase now more than ever what follows is how I created the quick edit of um, the shining in a combination of Excel Photoshop and blender 3d what follows is the steps I took to create it I think and um, <laughs> And <laughs> this is way too long already. I'm probably going to spend longer editing this than I actually did making the entire thing from start to finish. <sighs> so, um, Excel, first of all. Um, very simple. It's essentially a series of functions that creates randomness within a sentence uh, based on... Uh, several factors but essentially you feed in you feed in an insanity level from 1 to 100 and how many paragraphs you want to generate type in your phrase and then the form will return back sort of garbled sort of Jack Torrance style keyboard mashing um, and the way that's done is um, so first of all there's a function to do random spaces um, for whatever reason, there's some lots of random V's in uh, Jack's typing. This is my favourite function, probably because it simulates mashing keys. Um, so I created this with a dictionary. That's based off the input of the character. So what happens is it takes in a character like the lowercase a, converts it to a code, an ASCII code, um, and then from that it will pick a random letter from the surrounding keys within that. So here, um, so what's 97, I think that's A. So next to A is the S key, the Z key, the backslash, the Q. Um, so depending on the randomness, it will pick one of those letters instead of A. So that simulates someone just mashing keys roughly in the adjacent area to where they intended to hit um what else have we got that's pretty much it so what i can if i just show you pretty easy to see so here's the here's the form so we'll just type in all work and no play generate page so if we are up the uh, the madness scale so you can see here it's replacing some of the letters um, and it just looks like a bit like someone's just sat there mashing mashing random keys so obviously do now more than ever generate page and there we go so that's pretty much how we do it I've got a save to clipboard button here and then what I've been doing is generating a so a series of uh, layers in Photoshop to then be able to animate in. Oops, I didn't want to run FL Studio. Oops, just close that. So now I just uh, will be pasting these into layers in Blender. So this is how I've done the uh, compositing. So there are probably better ways of doing this, but I don't have actual compositing software like um, Adobe Premiere or um, what's the other one, Adobe After Effects, or pretty much anything. But Blender is pretty much there with um, a lot of stuff, and um, I've just done it by importing image cards with alpha transparency, and then that kind of does the job. So here, if I just uh, go to the camera view, 
we've got a series of transparent layers, and these are animated independently to then create the uh, the effect of Wendy strolling along. Um, so if I just create a random shape, like so. So we have a path, we have our text. So there's... <clears throat> Whoops. Okay, so I've just created a random path with Photoshop, whatever this is. Now you can do text on the path or use the shape itself, I think as long as it's contiguous, to paste stuff inside. So in this case, again, we can take our text and make our shapes. And that's how I did the... Uh, this, uh, this, this sort of scene here. We should look at the page. So, have I covered everything? Yes, I think I have. Time to edit. Oh yeah, and here's the uh, here's the finished product as well. After this. Now, more than ever,